Traxxas Easy Start 2 brings the convenience of push-button electric engine starting to your Nitro model. The Easy Start system consists of a handheld control unit and an onboard motorized starter. The handheld unit uses Smart Start technology to monitor the condition of the system and detect failures that could keep your engine from starting. Power for the Easy Start system comes from a 7.2 volt rechargeable NICAD battery pack installed in the handheld control unit. To install the battery, press the tab in the end of the battery compartment door and slide the back off. Plug the battery into the connector. Insert a fully charged 7.2 volt NICAD battery pack. Now slide the battery compartment door back into place. The glow plug in the engine is automatically heated by the Easy Start system when the button is pushed. This eliminates the need to carry a separate glow plug igniter. To use the Easy Start on our T-Max, plug it into the four-prong receptacle in the center of the pickup bed. In the Nitro 4-Tech, the Easy Start plugs into the receptacle just ahead of the rear wing. On Revo, the Easy Start plugs into the receptacle located on the truck bed. On the Nitro Rustler, the Easy Start plugs into the rear of the vehicle. Our Nitro Rustler here doesn't have any fuel in it, so we'll use it to show you how the Easy Start monitors itself. There are two status indicator LEDs on the handheld control unit, the motor LED and the glow plug LED. Both LEDs should light green when starting. If either LED is off, there is a fault indicated with that function. If the motor LED doesn't light and the starter fails to operate, then the Easy Start system is in protection mode. The new Easy Start controller contains circuitry that monitors the load being placed on the Easy Start motor. If the load becomes excessive, the Easy Start system shuts off power to the motor, preventing costly damage to the motor or to the controller. This might happen, for example, when an engine becomes flooded with fuel while trying to start it. The starter spins at first, and as the engine gradually locks up due to excessive fuel in the combustion chamber, the starter motor slows under the heavier load. This causes the protection circuit to shut off power to the motor to prevent it from burning up. We'll show you how to clear a flooded engine later in the program.